Now, I will explain the steps of finite element analysis of this model. So, first, let's prepare the model. I already have made the thin bag model, which I had explained in another video. I will use that as it is. In this video, I will skip that part. If you haven't seen that, please go through those videos. All the necessary videos links can be found in the description. So let's start. Go to model tree and double click on parts. Type a name for this part. You can choose your own name. Select 3D deformable solid and then extrusion. Enter some approximate size depending on your model size and then click continue. Now we are in sketcher mode. Select rectangle tool and draw it. Let's add dimension. Click add dimension tool. Set height and width equal to 10. After doing this, click on done at the bottom bar. Now set depth equal to 10 in the edit base extrusion menu. Click OK. So here we have created our solid cube part. Now we will mesh the solid cube. So go to mesh module, click on seed from the menu bar and then parts. Choose the seed. Smaller seeds will give you a finer mesh. Click apply and then OK. Now click on mesh menu and then parts. Select the cube and click on yes on bottom bar. See we have just mesh the solid cube. Now switch to property module from top menu bar select material manager under the material menu click create enter a name for this material you can provide optional description of this material now under mechanical menu choose elasticity and then elastic fill Young's model and Poisson ratio from general tab choose density and then provide a value these values are random you can always search real material properties on the internet and then fill this okay now click ok see our material is listed in material manager now close the material manager window click on section manager under section on the top menu bar in the section manager window click on create to create a new section for cube in the create section window, type a name, select solid and then homogeneous. Now click continue. Now in this window, choose material which we have just created and then click OK. Close the section manager window. Now go to top menu and click on assign menu and then section. Select the cube and click on done at the bottom bar. Now select the section which we have created just before then click OK now cube has been assigned a material and a section property now go to assembly module create a dependent instance of the cube let's make some space between instances so that we can work on them easily later we will place them back move to step module click on step manager under step menu Create a second dynamic explicit step with the step time 0.5 as demonstrated. 